hi everyone welcome back to my channel in this video i'm gonna let you guys my subscribers decorate my apartment so i've gotten a lot of nice constructive criticism and feedback and opinions from you guys so i'm here at target and five below to see what we can find not get to find much in target so i'm heading over to this plaza that has dollar tree big lots really wanted to get a canopy or a headboard today i even saw they have the stick on ones that you can put to your wall that kind of looks like a headboard but i cannot find anything everything that i'm seeing is online you have to order it online and i wanted to do this video for you guys today One of the biggest suggestions that you guys gave me was wall art. So I'm going to go around my apartment, kind of just play around, see where I want the placements, do it piece by piece. And then once I know where I want to hang everything up, then that's when I'm going to actually go in, use the stickers to finalize it. So before the big reveal i did want to show you guys i did run out of supplies to hang things on my wall a lot of you guys were mad that i let my princey boo be house trained inside with puppy pads so when i got my baby i was still living at my grandparents house my grandmother works night shift and my grandpa is retired but he sleeps during the day as well so if i would have had him and if i would have tried to kennel train him also, keep in mind, I have two family dogs who are going to be walking around, probably sniffing his cage, making him bark. Basically, he was going to be crying all day long. And my grandparents were going to be the one who have to hear about it because I'm going to be at work. And that's just not fair to them. So my other dogs as well, they're trained to go outside, but they roam the house freely. So he was kind of trained that way. He would sleep in the bed with my grandparents during the day. And they would take him out when they could. But ultimately, it was just easier for me to train him on the puppy pads because he could use them while I was at work. And I would just clean up the pads and the mess. Then whenever I moved to my own apartment, I realized it's kind of not safe for me. I live by myself. I'm a woman. I'm a young woman. To be outside late at night walking him in the apartment. I feel pretty safe in my apartment complex, but you just never know. Really no good reason why you want to be outside. And then on top of that is I'm gone all throughout the day. He wasn't kennel trained to begin with. So you can kind of see how it'd be very inconsistent and confusing to him. So for me and my convenience, it was easier to train him in the house. And my house does not have an odor. This is just what works and what works best for me. Right. So the first advice I got was to put my couch at a diagonal so that I can place the end tables and they would kind of be more aesthetically pleasing. And that's what I did. And the TV's still here. But to be honest, I don't watch TV much out here anyway. So I guess it doesn't really matter where my couch is placed. And I actually think this is very cute. More wall art up. So I have this. Those mirrors. Some more wall art here. And even over here where the dining room area is, I had someone mention to put a chair. I know you did not have this chair in mind, but it was $5 at five below. It's just a little air chair and it, it's pink. It matches with the pink vibes in here. So I thought that was very cute for now until I can get some sort of vanity or other chair in here. And then someone said fluffy pillows. I know you guys said neutral, but I do have a pink theme in here. So these are the modifications. Someone also said to put my bed in the center of my room instead of off into that corner. And I will say, I really love the difference that that made. Somebody said to put my dresser here, but with moving my bed to the center, I feel like, you know, this would be easier to watch TV. And I don't want to cause a fire hazard. If anything was to happen, I want to leave that more open. I really love all the new updates and modifications. Let me know what you guys think. 
And also give your suggestions. If you don't like how it looks right now, you could be featured in my next video and I could take your advice and show you guys how I put everything into motion in real life. Thank you guys for your support. Thank you for taking your time out to even help me with that advice on how to decorate my apartment. Don't think I missed the other comments. I would definitely film a part two. If you guys wanna see me with a headboard, curtains, and everything else. So yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe, comment down below, and I will see you guys in the next one.